Welcome to Tutor LMS Academy. Today we're going to go over how we can get the Facebook app ID for Tutor LMS social login with Facebook. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. To start off, make sure the social login add-on is enabled for Tutor LMS. If you're having trouble navigating that, please watch our video on the Tutor LMS authentication tab. So with that out of the way, let's make our way over to the Facebook developer console or meta for developers. So navigate to developers.facebook.com and log in using your Facebook account credentials. This will open up the developers console that we need to see, use and we can see right here. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this create app button to create an app. So we're going to select set up Facebook login because that's what we're trying to do and hit next. So for which platform we're going to be using our app, we're gonna select website and we hit next. So we have to select a name here. Let's go ahead and call this Tutor LMS. And we hit create an app. You also have to add an app contact email. By default, Facebook is just gonna take the email that you use for Facebook and put that in here. If you want something different, be sure to change it. Once your app is created, let's go to settings and basic. So from this screen, we will find our app ID and a app secret ID. This is what we need for Tutor LMS. So go ahead and copy this app ID and head on back over to Tutor LMS. So back in Tutor LMS, we'll navigate to settings, authentication, and under the social media tab, we should have Facebook enabled. And in this text box, paste the app ID that we've just copied. This is required to enable Facebook for Tutor LMS or your e-learning site. Once you've done that, click this copy redirect URL button and copy this URL. We're gonna need this at a later stage, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Make sure you hit save changes and now we'll go back to Facebook developer console. Okay, so back at the console, we now have to set up the Facebook login app. We can find this by clicking on the products tab. Once at the products tab, we can see that we have Facebook login set as a product. We click configure and we go to settings from this dropdown. Once at this screen, we need to scroll down and find this login with the JavaScript SDK button. We need to make sure that this is enabled. So go ahead and enable this. And under this button on the text box, we have to paste our redirect URL that we've copied back over from Tutor LMS. Go ahead and paste the redirect URL here and just hit save changes. And then we have to head back over to WordPress. So back in WordPress, we need to go to settings and hit general from the WordPress admin panel. From the WordPress admin panel settings, we go to general settings and we have to make sure that this checkbox right here is enabled. This will let students and instructors to log in through Facebook to your e-learning site. So once you've set all that up, Meta requires you to verify the app that we've just created. So to verify this app from this screen in the Meta for Developer console, we click on verification and we have to click on start verification to start the process of verification. We won't go over the verification process in this video, but we'll put a link down below to our documentation that has more guidelines that show you how you can verify an app. You can also visit Meta's own documentation to find out what the verification process is. Be warned that this verification process can be a little bit tedious and can take some time, but with patience, you'll be able to get it up and running in no time. And well, there you have it folks. That was the process of how to get the Facebook app ID and set it up with Tutor LMS. Once you get your app verified from Facebook, you'll have integrated Facebook social login for your e-learning site. We hope that this video was helpful. If you have any issues regarding this setup, be sure to let us know down in the comments, like this video, and as always, have a good one.